Welcome to Arch Labs. We're looking at a system here, Windows T or Super T. As you can see, I have activated my screen key for you. So any keyboard shortcut will work and will pop up with a message like this Windows or Super T. Um, so we are working on the latest version of Arch Labs. I want to install VirtualBox with you guys and then install Arch Labs on Arch Labs. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first off, um, this is what we're on. That's what you're looking at. And now let's install it. So we have different possibilities to approach AUR. There are possibilities like Packer. It's a program. Packer is a program. And Yoast is a program. So any of these will work. So they have been installed. My personal preference goes to Packer. And then we think about what we need. So only thing I have to type, I don't know if, if there is a space or not, doesn't matter. Just type virtual box. You have 53 things to do to check. So we have the GNOME boxes, which is an alternative. And here it is. We want the number five virtual box community. So only thing we have to do is press number five, enter. It's going to ask your password and then we have to decide. So the best thing I guess for you to do is uh, install VirtualBox host modules Arch, which is number two. In the other case, you'll have to download the headers for the Linux dash headers for uh, VirtualBox host DKMS. So I'm going to take number two and say yes, install it, please. And that's all. Let's do it. VirtualBox is installed after some time. Voila. And then um, there are different ways to get to where you want on Arch Labs. We have our menu, which is right mouse click, but of course it's a static menu. We could uh, um, change the static menu with the OB menu generated menu, and then it wouldn't be static anymore. But we can also do Windows Shift D or Super Shift D and then go to the program. That's one way. Another way is Alt F3 which is going to pop up the XFCE4 application finder and type like this, virtual. There you go. That's another way to approach uh, the find software. So at some point we have to run it. And as you can see, everything works fine. The only thing we have to do now is set it up and that's for another tutorial. 